All right, I'm going to talk about three ways that you can cut your high rocks time down in time for your next competition. Pay attention to these three things right now. Number one is to not treat your running as recovery. So actually start implementing running strategy in your training and aerobic threshold so that you're not just using the run as recovery in between each component. Number two is spend less time in the rock zone, okay? So if it's your first time or you're not quite familiar with high rocks, you're gonna spend time in the rock zone, which is gonna be added to your official timing, okay? So we wanna be in the components and out of the components as fast as possible. It actually works out around 8.5 to 8.7 K in total and not just 8 K. Third, work in clusters, okay? So there's gonna be a lot of high rep volume in your movements. We're gonna be doing 100 reps at a time of some movements, 80 reps at a time. So we wanna be forcing clusters. And this is all to do with race strategy that you can implement in training. So you are preparing those clusters and you know exactly how many you're gonna do at a time, how much rest you're gonna take between the clusters, as opposed to just having forced rest on the day, 